Bird scooters have officially migrated to Cincinnati. We uh, have been here in Cincinnati for six days and so far the response has been incredible. You may have seen a few and soon you'll see more. The scooters are dockless, meaning you can leave them almost anywhere and you're encouraged to wear a helmet. Folks download the app. You have to put in your driver's license. You need to be 18, put in a, a credit card, and then you go up to any scooter that you find. And although it is a rule to wear a helmet, they can't really enforce it. So Bird is giving away 300 next week. We have some ambassadors that are posted out on the streets of Cincinnati today that are helping people learn how to ride. We instruct people not to be on sidewalks and to follow bike lanes and street infrastructure. So no scooters on sidewalks, no scooters after dark, and there's a speed limit. Whose job is it to enforce all of this? Does it automatically become the responsibility of the police? I'm here meeting with officials from the city, uh, and we hope to have, you know, it's likely that the city will uh, you know, pass an ordinance or uh, require some permitting. Bird is hoping Cincinnati's entrepreneur culture makes for a smooth transition, and so do the folks at Centrifuge, the Just business the incubator that's helping Bird. New introductions of technologies like this will breed more proliferation of new technologies, right? So we'll see more new young companies wanting to emerge in the Cincinnati ecosystem. As for the city's take on all this, like Bird, we're still waiting for answers. And over the Rhine, Vanessa Richardson, WLWT News 5.